Today we're going to be changing leaf springs, bushings, and shackles on a 2022 Wildwood Heritage Glen travel trailer. While doing so, we're also going to repack the wheel bearings with grease. Uh, for this job, you're going to need impact is optional. 19 millimeter socket for the lug nuts, half inch drive ratchet, a hammer, an 18 millimeter <clears throat> wrench, 21 millimeter socket, and another short well 19 millimeter socket. Here's all of our parts. You'll need a jack as well. Let's get started by removing the wheels. next thing we're going to want to do is put a bottle jack underneath the axle so you can raise and lower it to get the new leaf springs uh, in and the old ones out. Once we have that done, we'll start by taking the bolts out of the, or the nuts off the U-bolts that hold the leaf springs to the axle. I recommend if you're doing this, you change your U bolts anyway. You should use we're using them. Next, we're going to go ahead and lower the axle. bushings too. That's why I bought the um, brass bushings to replace the nylon ones that came in the leaf springs. We do a lot of traveling so they wear out pretty quick. So next we're going to go ahead and take out these bolts right here. We can get the leaf spring out. We're also changing the shackles over here. So we'll take those out as well. Now this stuff wore out so quick too because they're not wet bolts which are bolts that have a grease fitting on them. These are put in here dry and we put it back together with the greasy bolts. Can't move that side of the wrench because it's pressed into that ear. socket so this wrench will just have to do. Right. We are going to reuse these. Put them in our little magnetic dish. However though, I 
working and putting the end of that nut, that nut on the end of that bolt. A couple threads, you know, maybe four or five turns. That way we can hit it loose with a hammer without messing up the threads on the end of the bolt. <laughs> socket for that. Plastic bushings, and new leaf springs. <laughs> Bought some brass ones. Replace those with. Fortunately, these brass ones don't fit that hole too well in the equalizer, but the plastic ones do. So. I'm gonna take the brand new plastic ones out of the new leaf springs, put them in the equalizer, and put the brass ones in the leaf springs. Maybe it doesn't make much sense, but that's what we're gonna do. It's pretty easy. Take one of your new brass ones. That's pretty, you can do it right in your lap. Put it on top of the plastic one. Just tap on it with a hammer. Brass one in, plastic one out. You want to use those though. Oh. It's pretty much the same uh, hardware and it's the same uh, sizes and sockets and tools to get this off. 18 millimeter socket. Hammer. Got it 
loose. Let's loosen up these uh, shackle bolts too before we do anything else. Oh, he broke that bolt. Get hands free with Vengeance, get your store, sketches.com, or wherever snow is cool. Oh, uh, yeah, as far as we can, I'll go get one of them and replace it. <laughs> This is pretty much the same with the equalizer, just we got three of them and they're in different spots. Um, if you got a little lip on here, you're going to have a little bit of an easier time. If you take a razor blade and cut that lip off. Let's make sure you got all ten fingers when you're done. You want to find something you can use to hit them out. Uh, you can't really use the plastic bushings to push the plastic bushings out like you can with the brass. So we'll use this broken bolt. Just catch the lip of it, you know. Hit it like you just saw me do. It's already starting to come out the other side. There we go. Look how worn out that was. There ain't even nothing left of that side right there. It should look like I can't squish it with my fingers. You gotta be a little more careful with these ones. You can't hit them like the brass. Push them in there with your hand a little bit. You don't want to hit it directly. Unless you're using something soft, I'm going to try using this rubber bottom on my hammer. go it's in there so maybe if you have something like a rubber mallet that'd work pretty good let's get the other two out they don't have lips just that middle one does fold it 
the edge over a little bit. Let's uh, just take something and put it over top of that and just. Not bad. That middle one was really bad. See, those could have went a little longer. That one, yeah, it was done. done we'll get that back in there uh, with some grease everything we put back together we're going to put some grease in there was no grease in there uh, when it was new from the factory and that's why they worn out so quick we put about 10,000 miles in this trailer since we got it the reason we're changing the leaf springs is because I hit a really hard pump and I bent one but I didn't know this stuff was wore out so when I took the other side apart I decided to order all the other stuff and then do the job. So we're going to start putting everything back together, uh, starting with the center equalizer. And before we do any of that, we're going to put some grease in there and some grease on the bolts that go through it. There we go. A little bit of grease in the hole. Get some grease on the bolt. And most normal people would probably wear gloves for this, but I'm not exactly what you call normal. So, there we go, all greased up. Wipe that on my jeans here. In. This is the bolt we broke, but all these bolts across here are the same. So I'll probably just stick that in there. The broken one in one of these random holes and uh, order one online. And since the trailer's not going to be being moved for a couple months, I can I have the time to just sit here and wait until that comes in and I'll put it in when I get it. We'll still have a little bit of play in there, but nothing like what we had. So now we can move on to doing actual leaf springs. Just like the uh, center stabilizer, we're going to grease everything. We already put our bushings in the leaf spring. And just to show you for reference, I only had to change one leaf spring, but we ended up changing them all just because we felt it was the right thing to do. I have Dexter. 4,400 pound axles. Uh, they were four leaf leaf springs. I've replaced the leaf springs with um, 6,000 pound axle leaf springs, which are five leaf leaf springs. Uh, I still can't put any more weight in it than what the axle is rated for. I just believe, personally, this will give it a little more durability and it'll be a little bit longer time before I have to do this job again. Here's the comparison between the two. See, these ones started to go a little flat on me. You can see the curve there. It's supposed to curve up and starting to curve down. There's the new one with the brass bushings in it. Let's get it. Start by taking the Leaf spring, taking the bolt, putting it in the centering hole there. Go ahead and get our new U bolts. Now, these new U bolts did come in new uh, brackets on top, but I don't know if you can see that. There's the new one, there's the old one. 
The old ones are so much thicker. I want to reuse the old mounting bracket. This makes me feel better. It has a hole in it too. Mount it up. Line up the hole on top. Make sure everything's clean, no rocks or nothing in there. Now all this stuff has to work ratings, but I just make sure it's tight. You don't want to tighten one of them down extremely tight before all the other ones. You kind of want to evenly do it. Or they really won't pull through the same amount. Make sure that it's nice and straight where it should be. And then you can start cranking them down. Feels nice and tight. It's probably tighter than the bolts were when I took it apart. Take a grease gun again. Put a little bit of grease in the hole here. One side, let's do the other. The other side has a shackle on it, so I'll show you us putting the uh, new shackles on. Let's start by putting a little bit more grease in the hole. And uh, we haven't done anything yet. New shackles. This side will be easy because we'll be able to move that around. So the other side is a little more difficult because we're going to have to use the jack because there will be pressure on the other side. But since this isn't connected, we get out of the room. It won't be so bad.
Well, that's one side. And we also got the equalizer done, so we're um, gonna be over halfway through here. Uh, what I wanna do now is show you greasing the wheel bearings. I got really lucky I don't have to pull my wheel bearings out and repack them. There's actually a grease fitting on the end of my axle. Um, I'm gonna pull my grease cap off with a pair of channel locks and probably mar it up a little bit. They do make special tools for it. I just don't have it, nor do I feel like buying it. And I have covers that cover these, so it doesn't really matter what they look like as long as they're functional to me. still in good shape. Don't get any dirt in there. You just want to take a grease gun. Put it right on there. If you got this, if you're lucky, like me. And you just want to pump it until grease starts coming out right there. There's a rubber seal behind the uh, hub here, so don't worry. It's not pumping a ton of grease in your brakes. See it? It's starting to push out of the bearing there. That's how you know it's greased up enough. We can stop right there. No grease gun, pretty hard to get off. Uh, we'll take our cap there and get it back on there. complete so all you gotta do is repeat that four times if you're or just three more times if you're doing your whole trailer or maybe just one more time if you have a dual axe or maybe five times you gotta triple that would suck so on to the next one so that's how you change the leaf springs on a travel trailer and uh, it'd be the same for a fifth wheel as well it'd be the same for just about all trailers I'll leave the link in the description for um, all the leaf springs that I use. I use Libra leaf springs on Amazon. I uh, also use Libra um, U-bolts and all the other hardware that I've used. Uh, I did not use Libra bushings, I forget what I used, but I'll leave the link in the description for those too. Um, that's how you change leaf springs on a RV. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.